Well, thanks, Brian. There's a general notion that when you're sick, you should go to the doctor and get some antibiotics. But as we're about to discover, that isn't always the best thing to do. Dr. Carolyn McLean is medical director of the Urgency Room, and she's here to explain when antibiotics are necessary and when they are not. Welcome. It's good to have you here today. Yeah, thanks. All right. When are they necessary? So if you have a bacterial infection, you do need antibiotics, but you need a doctor to tell you if it's a bacterial infection or a viral infection. And so one of the challenges we have is that patients come in and they, they think all infections are caused by bacteria and they want an antibiotic because they want to get better. But antibiotics don't always make you better if you don't have a bacterial infection. So viral, you don't need antibiotics in. You do not need antibiotics. What kinds of things present then with that? What would be symptoms? So bronchitis, most people with a cough or a sinus infection, that's a virus and it's not going to get better with antibiotics. Whereas if you have strep throat, that needs antibiotics. If you have a bladder infection, that needs antibiotics. Overusing and, and this seems like almost epidemic use of them, what's it doing to our bodies if, if we're taking them when we truly don't need them? So in order to digest food, we have lots of bacteria that are good for us that live in our guts. And every time you take antibiotics, all of those good bacteria go away and it can take up to a year to rebuild them. And now we believe that one of the reasons we're having problems with obesity in this country is due to taking too many antibiotics. What's a timeline generally when you are taking them to, to use them and give us a, a prescription for that? So, so when should you get antibiotics? Yeah. yeah. So if you've yeah. been sick for, let, let's take a sinus infection. If you've had pain in your sinuses for over 10 days, you likely need antibiotics. But if it's just been a day or two, you need to give it some time. But you can also always come to see a doctor and we can tell you how to treat yourself to make you feel better because you don't always need antibiotics to make you feel better. There are other medications that can really help. It's a challenge for doctors though. So most of us go to the doctor, we're not feeling well, clearly. Right. We want something and that's why we ask for a prescription and, that, yeah. and we feel cheated if we don't. How are you addressing this with patients now? You know, I think that there's a lot of education that you can do with patients to tell them, you know what, there are things that we can do to make you feel better. You don't have to do an antibiotic. There's a lot of ways that we can make you feel better without antibiotics. And sometimes the frustrating piece is the answer is time and sleep and fluids. And no one wants to hear that because they have stuff to do tomorrow. Well, that's the prescription we're going to leave people with today. <laughs> uh, that's great. Thank you. Uh, it was a very yeah. insightful conversation. Uh, we have posted additional information at care11.com.